Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Banner Reaction. I'm DTM as always, and I have with me a returning friend of the channel. Why don't you introduce yourself, Satoshi? Hey everyone, Satachi here, your favorite local Edelgard simp, and thank you so much <laughs> DTM for having me as always. Yeah, it's always a blast, and yeah, um, how excited are you about this banner? Um, not very. <laughs> I'm, I'm more so excited for my friends because they love Sacred Stones. Right. Um, but I, I'm, I'm safe because Winter destroyed me with my orbs, so mm -hmm. I shouldn't even say orbs. I, I had like 40 orbs before the my favorite free-to-play feature uh, came in. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm glad I can just skip, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's from the silhouettes. It's We saw, I think, Ephraim and Murr, so it's likely going to be Sacred Stones. Um <clears throat> But yeah, nothing else to do but to get on our way. As always, if you like the content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to help support the channel. Only takes five seconds to subscribe, but it truly does help this channel a lot. And of course, not only to my channel, but to Satoshi's channel as well. The link to that will be in the description down below. And yeah, let us begin. I can't wait for Murr to just end. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> Super warp bubble. All right, who's it gonna be? Okay, so Murr's yeah, okay. first. All right. And Aww. it looks like she's a dragon. I really like that outfit. Colorless armor dragon. Oh. Colorless armor. Okay. Ish. Okay. Okay, she has save. Death Res Scowl. Okay, I don't... Th Ooh, Death Res Scowl is actually really good. Any fighter. Oh, no. Okay, she <laughs> does have warp bubble and save. Mm-hmm. Huh. Canny fighter, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know how good that is, actually. <laughs> yeah. We'll definitely have to look Because, back. like, if you... Like, she's going to be the first person to die normally, right? Right. Huh. Interesting. I, I mean, I do think it will be pretty good. She'll definitely find a use in SD. Yeah. It definitely depends how tanky she is. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, hi, Ephraim. Oh, at, this is Ephraim. Okay. Uh, it's in uh, uh, Lance Armor. Where to? Is that attack defense boost? Earth Fire oh, boost. Yeah. Let's go. Finally, we got Earth another one after so long. Already. So and Sunbangle D. Interesting. Hmm. Damn, we already got an extra source of armored blaze. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I haven't seen a lot of. Um, uh, armored blazes out there in the wild. Yeah, it's not that great. It's okay. Hmm, I see. Yeah. Oh, it looks like up? he has near save. Oh, why they gotta do that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that. You have my thanks. Oh, he has a brave attack. I just realized. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, this is, um, I have no idea, actually. Selene. Sel Selene? Oh, Selena. My Selena, oh, yes. What? Oh, and by Suzuki Rika. Oh my what god, this I is do? literally... Oh, attack speed cash. Um... Also, wait. Excuse what? me? Okay, yeah, she's the demote. <laughs> it does her home give the built-in... I think so, oh, though. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, that's actually huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Oh my god. All that, um... Yeah, oh! Okay. Oh, they look so cute. Oh my god. That's actually really cute. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Leon as a lead. Yeah, because... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I have faith. Okay. Great illusion. Uh, this is like... A cultist, ooh, a cultist strike. strike. We have another source of that. Yeah, Very happens. nice. We'll have to see what Great Illusion does. Yeah. It's hard at the start of combat, yeah. I could tell. <laughs> this is is this like the first duo that has like a um like a potential pairing? I think I think so, actually. Yeah. Oh so what was that oh, end turn? Look at them. I just saw that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I did not see the end turn. Uh, -oh. uh inflict quality <gasps> status in cardinal directions. Uh, I did not finish reading that, unfortunately. What does this do? Love and gratitude. Okay, what did that do? <laughs> I, good, good question. I, I don't. I, I. 
Okay. <laughs> Wait. So you have so you have to activate that in the cardinal directions. I have faith. Wait. What? That's kind of funny. Is it like a status that you inflict? So. Huh. Oh, I wonder if it's the tapestries. Hmm. Oh, 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 I oh. forgot his name. Long haired purple hair. Uh, uh I, I, I again I haven't played yeah. Sacred Stones, but I think I get what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right. Ooh, spark mechanic. Fate pass only. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a lot to go over, but let's take a look at this. Yeah. I like this song. This song's cute. I like it. Oh my god. Literally, my friends that. One of my. Yeah, my friends that just finished Taker Stones love these. All the characters in this matter. <laughs> They're like probably screaming right now. Right. Oh god. All right, we have our warp bubble armor, who's definitely yeah. going to find a lot more use in um, in something like Summer's Duels as opposed to uh, Legendary Mer and Gatekeeper, both in mm -hmm. Ether Raid's defense and in Summer's Duels. But again, the fact that she's the save unit is very interesting. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and read Loving Breath. Accelerate special trigger. Unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range. If foe initiates combat or foe's HP is greater than or equal to 75%, at start of combat, grants attack plus X to unit and inflicts attack minus X on foe during combat. X being the number of allies within three spaces of unit times four plus six max 14. Um, so basically plus 14 minus 14. Uh, grants special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack during combat. So you get breath. Restore seven HP to unit after combat. If foe initiates combat or foe's HP is greater than or equal to 75% at start of combat, and if unit's res is greater than foe's res, reduces damage from attacks during combat and from AoEs by... Pers okay, that's just Dragon Wall. That's basically just Dragon Wall if uh, foe okay. initiates combat or foe's like above 75% HP. Okay. Wow. Remember when they were scared of giving weapon... Uh, DC weapons? <laughs> yeah. Effects? Yeah, so she so has uh, DC. She gets... Uh, I don't know what to call this, but it's like the um, plus plus your attack minus the foe's attack a sort of effect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you get the healing, and then you get Dragon Wall, basically. Plus the dragon adaptive damage. Mm. Okay. And the breath, which is really cool. Oh, yeah, and um... breath, too. Hmm... She's definitely going to be res heavy. Let's be yeah. Clear. Um, I mean, the attack swing with the attack minus theoretically 14 is actually really, really good because that allows her to be a lot more um, tanky. Tanky. Mm -hmm. It reduces the impact of um, armor effectiveness, which is really nice. Oh, I, I do wonder what the matchup against Legendary Chrom will be, though. I am very interested uh, in that. She's cold. Colorless, right? Ugh. Yeah, she is colorless. So, not as I, bad as Winter Byleth, but probably still not that good, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I forget for the okay, because we have defense res scale four on the A skill. Is the res check like visible or during the combat? Um, I completely forgot. Like, is that the actual raw like stat? Like, you know what I mean, right? I believe it's uh, during combat. Okay, that's better then. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I mean, the thing is, like, Legendary Kron doesn't need his special to get through Winter Violeth. So I don't know. Also, at least from what I'm reading right here, she doesn't have guard anywhere. Um, which might yeah. be a little bit of a problem. Anyways, uh, we haven't seen all of her kit yet, so... We still have the seat, perf C to get through, but we also have That's defense rest scowl. We know how this works. <laughs> I don't think we need to like go over yeah, it. We don't need to. Oh. Alright. Canny Fighter. What is this? At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, inflicts attack res minus four of on foe. Foe cannot make a follow-up attack and reduces damage from foe's first attack by X percent. If foe can make a follow-up attack, X equals 80, otherwise X equals 40, and reduces damage from foe's follow-up attacks by 40% during combat, and that includes Braves. 
the same thing as weaving fire. Yeah, this is just res. attack and res. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so weaving fire but res based. Good to know. <laughs> okay. Not bad though. I mean, that'll help her out. Yeah. Definitely. So. Um, Darkling Dragon. Okay, this is the important one. At mm -hmm. start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants defense res plus six and warp bubble to unit for one turn. At start of turn, grants uh, defense res plus six and warp bubble to any support partner within two space two oh. spaces of unit. Or if unit's not on a team with a unit support partner, to ally with the highest defense within two spaces of unit for one turn. Okay, that changes things because she That's can grant lot. warp <gasps> bubble now. Oh my now. god, literally the next line, you're actually going to go insane. We were, oh my god, we were just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, inflict special, okay, there's guard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and reduces the percentage of foes non-special, reduced damage by X percent skills by 50% during combat, excluding AoEs. And then if foe uses bow, dagger, magic, or staff and initiates combat against an ally within two spaces of unit, triggers savior. And if you trigger savior, grants all attack defense res plus four during combat. Okay. So that's, that's a, really good. <laughs> that's actually really good. Yeah. The fact that you can give warp bubble to your support partner is obviously that's... a lot stronger than if she just yeah. had warp bubble herself. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is uh <laughs> <laughs> now that is interesting. It is interesting. Obviously, we have things like Pass and mm -hmm. Thor can obviously just cleanse the um warp bubble for a turn. So we do right. have that. Um but I do think that with all of this, she'll probably be a pretty meta save unit. I agree. I just am still skeptical about her being better than Winter Pilot. I right. do think she'll definitely be up there, though. Right, because, like, I mean, she does have the... Okay, it's not Sublime Heaven, but she does... If she is able she has, to cut through damage reduction yeah, in half. It's not completely, but it's still 50%, which is... Right. Funny. And... um, I don't know. It'll be interesting, because at least in the Japanese-Chinese community... um. You, you know about the FX pasta, right? That's oh, yeah. sort of been the new thing. And obviously, Warp Bubble doesn't really impact that. And right. so it'll be actually interesting to see if this just hastens the move to the FX pasta. Or if like people will just slap pass on their units and go ham anyways. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh man, but still, that's really good. That's a way bigger upgrade than I thought they were going to give her. Right. <laughs> Wow. She has a lot. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I'm, this is... I'm honest, honestly, I'm happy for her. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be very good. Because, um, like, Legendary Chrom generally wants physical no follow-up. Um, I definitely don't want to run right. past. Uh, uh, is there any AoE um, damage reduction? In I didn't see weapon, any. Yeah. Oh, it's from Dragon Wall. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So that's also another thing... Uh... This Mer's got going for her. Mm -hmm. Which is really yeah. nice. I think she'll be one of the top far stays. I don't know if she'll be like better than Winter Byleth or um I don't that not not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I do Personally. think she'll be very good though, and you'll probably see her in something like Summer's Duels. Right, right, right. I think she'll be like so right now I'll play safe and be like top three, four far saves. <laughs> top three four nice. as if all four, other far saves know. are just like pretty bad <laughs> hey i mean you're the one that said valentine's lucina is the best far save so then the i mean that's just one, objectively just true say, right you know. like okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways oh man yeah i do think Horrible. that i wonder what her matchup is against like the fx pasta and things like that Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I, I I don't trust whenever they show us stuff like this. It's I mean, that's true. Good, <laughs> yeah, it's so. super uh, yeah, I was like, scam you know, showcases. Armor still did decent <laughs> damage, yeah. Yeah. And that's without armor effectiveness, and it was res-based. Right. Which he's going to have more of defense of, so. Mm-hmm. You know, again. Speaking of just... armors, we have Valentine's Ephraim. Why don't you go ahead and read Righteous Lance for us? 
Alrighty, Righteous Lens. So he has Accelerate Special Cooldown, Count Minus One, which is Sling. Grants Attack Defense plus four to allies within three spaces during combat and restores seven HP to those allies after combat. Interesting. Um, if foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is greater or equal to 75% at the start of combat, inflicts attack defense minus X on foe during combat. X equals the number of allies within three spaces of unit times four plus six, max 14. Okay. And reduces damage from attacks by 30%, excluding AoEs. And restores seven HP to unit after combat. If unit... Uh, not, you know, if foe initiates combat or foe is higher or equal to 75% of HP at the start of combat, when unit special triggers, neutralizes foes, reduces damage by X. Except for, uh, yeah, for non-special uh, DR. Okay, so... Okay, so that's like... Um, 100% DR piercing against non-special... Right. Uh, if you... Uh, yeah. When you're special procs, well, that yeah, will happen. Special, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is similar to, I believe it was Flavia that had that before. I believe um, so, yeah. So yeah, you get the you get the attack defense support, the healing as well. Um, basically, uh, theoretically, could be like minus fourteen attack defense infliction, um, thirty percent damage reduction, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not that's, bad. Not bad. That's, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just when you go from Mer to this, it's like wow. Right. <laughs> I mean, we um, haven't her- seen the B yet, so the B could be oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, knock on wood. We just said that last. Uh, <laughs> last <laughs> Anyways, time. Earth Fire Boost. Do we need to read this? Nah, it's it's not. We yeah. we didn't have to read Death Res Scowl, so it's yeah, fine. we know what that does. All right, we'll Sunlit Bangle D. What does this do? Tell us, Satoshi. Uh, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than twenty five percent, and unit initiates combat. Foe can counterattack before unit's first attack. Um, so similar to Summer Ephraim's uh, like uh, thingy. Uh, start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, inflicts attack defense minus 5 on foe. Unit attacks twice and neutralizes effects that inflicts special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. And also, when unit deals damage to foe during combat, restores 7 HP to unit, even if zero damage is dealt. Okay, so on the player phase, he gets desperation. Mm-hmm. Wait, am I reading no, this? Yeah, wait. if unit initiates no, combat. Wait. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. Sorry, no. I misread that. Yeah, it's the same. It's you. What's what you're saying? It was like summer. It's summer Ephraim's effect. Yeah, it's summer Ephraim. So you hit him first, and then he'll just attack you twice. Okay. So that happens when you initiate. Um, yes. Interesting. Yeah, that's super weird. <laughs> That is really um, weird. I mean, you do get brave, um, and you get no guard, and then you get healing. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think this is that good. <laughs> I don't think this is that great either. And then another attack defense minus five. Wow, they should have showed Ephraim first. <laughs> <laughs> they, set the, they set the bar really high with the last one. I'm just saying. <laughs> what? Like, this doesn't give like any damage reduction. This doesn't give like any like ncd or like this is like i mean it gives you the brave which is pretty nice not gonna lie yeah but like i don't know like he doesn't give any it doesn't give like any survivability yeah and like he doesn't have well one he's an armored so if Mm -hmm. you're making a player phase you just gotta make them move more like you have to you make make you make them edelgard charge or like an extra movement. You you can't just have them be in armor. Right. And then just have that effect. Because if he had a plus one movement, I'd be like, all right, you know what? Uh, I have faith in the Ephraim lovers. You know? <laughs> right. Because he just seems like he's just solely relying on that special, really. Yeah. The question is, can Ephraim beat Winter Edelgard? That's the question. Because like for a near save, Winter Edelgard is the unit to beat right now. Yeah, but unironically, like, you know what units have do, like, beat Winter Edelgard? Uh, Brave Edelgard, and <laughs> unironically, uh, Rearmed Grima actually gives me trouble, like, even, like, in an unmerged one, like, when I try initiating with mm-hmm. my Winter Edelgard, like, she messes her up really bad. Right. Um, But just Brave Edelgard alone, because of her availability, is already mm-hmm. fine, so I don't think this is, like, a must Winter yeah. Edelgard counter. So... 
I mean, does he even counter Winter Edelgard? I don't even know. I don't. I don't know either. But even if he did, again, like Brave Edelgard's already there. Right. I don't know. Obviously, Ephraim's not really changing much. Let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> Uni oh, he's unique. I'll give him that. Just like you know. Yeah, he's I'm unique. Sure have You'll sure literally never have use a desperation though. effect in a real match, but you know he's unique. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, he has Brave, so he got that going oh, for him. This, this is messed up. They didn't have <laughs> you know, I don't regret talking crap. Right. Alright. Let's see what this weapon does. Oh my god, that weapon is actually... My feelings toward my I'm feeding that to like an Ophelia. I'm, for, I'm gonna try free something here. <laughs> Who cares about the Arcane Red Tome? We have this tome to inherit now. Oh my god. Literally, just the burn effect alone is insane. All right, Devoted Basket Plus. At start of combat, if units HP is greater than equal to 25%, deals damage to foe equals X percent of foe's attack as combat begins. Um, if unit has weapon triangle, advantage, or if unit speed is greater than foe's speed, X equals 30, otherwise X equals 15. Activates only when unit can attack in combat. Effects that reduces damage during combat do not apply. Okay, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Um, a grants attack speed plus 5 to unit during combat and grants bonus to unit's attack speed during combat equals to 15% of unit speed at start of combat. That's Is that you. like the new best red tome? Or am I just like hyping this up too much? I mean... Like that's really good. I think that's pretty good. Um, uh, art, the arcane red tome is like... Like more about like specials and things like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one is obviously you have like the, um, the burn damage. And then yeah. just and like... Which Stacking We've attack been, like, and speed. In a very like heavy like kind of scal meta with like you know the violets mm -hmm. and the veils all that's out there. You know, at least here you don't have to worry about that, and you just get the guaranteed chip damage, which is why I think it's really good. Right. Um. um and then also, every time when a unit has this effect, where it's grants its bonus to units attack and speed during combat equal to your own like stat, I think that's a really slept effect. Yeah. Like, like, that can, like, really unironically cancer in the side of battles. Right. I, so, this is this is based off of your foe's attack. And if you're facing a green unit, um, you get 30% mm -hmm. of the foe's attack. So, that will be, yeah. like, what? Um, assuming, like, 70 attack, that would be, uh, right, um, okay, I... If it's 60, let's just say 60. It's around 20-ish. So probably around like 24-ish, 25-ish, I'd That's say. really good. <laughs> if you have a weapon triangle advantage, if you don't have weapon triangle advantage, that goes back to like 11. That's like shown on. Mm -hmm. yeah, which is still mm -hmm. really good. like Because <laughs> flared on its own gives you seven. Right. And then if you combine that with occultist or a sat occultist strike, um, that would give right. like 24 I think, if you I don't have weapon think. triangle advantage and around 34 without, with triangle mm -hmm. advantage. So, like, that's pretty good for green units, against green units. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of this weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the problem really is, is that, it. like, we don't have a lot of green save armor, green, like, range save armors right now. Or I guess mm -hmm. this is, like, attacking uh, Desert Altina. So, rip Oblivion, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this I, is pretty good. Pretty, yeah, I think it's still pretty good, though. Yeah. And the fodder is not horrible. I mean, attack speed, cash rate, that's fine. Uh, yeah. I, at least for me, I never have tier 4 rallies. I, I don't. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have every other skill type, but not rallies. I don't mm -hmm. have that for Arena. Yeah. So, that would be 22 if. If that was weapon triangle, I'd... wait. Actually, no. That was a green unit. Wait. What a minute. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Erica. Yes. All right. What do you do? Aww. All right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and read Tender Vessel for us? Okay. So Tender Vessel enables Canto One. Uh, they have slaying, and at the start of combat, if units HP is greater or equal to twenty five percent, deals damage to foe equals x percent of foe's attack as combat begins if unit has weapon triangle advantage or if, or if units res is higher than foe's res x equals 40 otherwise x is 20. okay activates only when unit can attack and combat. okay yeah yeah we, we know that you can skip the parentheses uh, <laughs> <laughs> um 
effects that reduced uh yeah, effects that reduce damage during uh combat do not apply. Uh will not reduce okay, we know that, yeah. Uh grants attack defense res plus five to unit during combat, grants bonus to units attack defense res during combat equal to twenty percent of units res at the start of combat and reduces percentage of folks non special uh, reduced damage by X by fifty percent during combat. Okay. Okay, so you get the the burn damage um, mm -hmm. based off of both weapon triangle advantage and a res check this time, depending on how yeah. much a, you get chipped down. Um, like, so obviously you want to be like stacking res. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I I wonder how this does against Winter Byleth because Byleth stacks a lot of res. Yeah. Wait, are they... I did not see... Are they blue or green? They're green. They're green. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, so that's a bit green. oof. <laughs> that is a bit oof, but it's, 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 fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> um, um, but, I mean, the burn damage is really cool, and obviously uh, you get, like, more stats based off of your res, and obviously you can cut through damage reduction by 50%, which is always really, really nice. Um, calves yeah. don't really have a way to cut through damage reduction, so... This would be really good, obviously. Mm -hmm. Now, what does Gray Illusion does? Mm, okay, Gray Illusion. If unit initiates combat or a foe's HP is higher or equal to 75% at start of combat, grants attack defense res plus 9 to unit during combat. And if unit's res is higher than foe's res, foe cannot counter attack. If okay. unit initiates combat after combat, inflicts the following status on foes with highest speed within three spaces of target foe, excluding target, through their next actions. After start of turn skills trigger, action ends immediately. For those who have not yet taken an action in summoner duels, instead of inflicting this effect, ends their action immediately. Uh Okay, I see. I see how this is working. So basically, um, okay, you get the like the stat buffs, and then you get a sweep if you outres them, um, and then outside of summoners' duels, you get a status w when like basically when the t enemy phase begins, their actions ended, and it only inflicts it to the. Uh, to the unit with the highest speed within three spaces of the foe. Mm -hmm. Huh. Excluding the target. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So if in the person you attack lived, it doesn't affect them. Right. Essentially. And in Summoner's Duels, instead of applying that effect, uh, it, it just ends their action immediately. Yeah. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. That is very good. <laughs> that is very good. I, I saw the foe cannot counterattack. I'm like, oh, oh, this is gonna get stupid, isn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, that doesn't affect Winter Byleth. So oh, like man. Yeah, yeah, not Winter Byleth, but like every other Every other save. Yeah. Well, I mean, in some of your duels, like you don't you generally don't have saves counterattacking anyway, so that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, that's true. That's true actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the ending action, I think, actually, you know what? This would be super cool for Gale Force. You can like... That's literally what I was thinking. Yeah. Just pop Wom on him and then just like, wow. Yeah. Like... That's you... what I like about Sather, like both the Sathers and then now this mm -hmm. unit, like this kind of like, right? you know, like... for new people that want to get into Gale Force, it gives you way more room for error which is normally yeah. like, normally you kind of need to be like yeah because like what you're doing because like instead of having to line up the coordinate directions uh you can just attack someone and then within as long as they're within three spaces they'll have this effect like on them and then yeah you don't have to worry about lining up sather or trapping or anymore like this is actually really good for kill force <laughs> yeah i think that's really good <laughs> All right, I and dig then, it. I dig it, honestly. Yeah. Insight attack res. I'm we know what that fan. does. I'm yeah. a fan of the insight, yeah. Yeah. Um, All right, what does the duel do? Oh, right, yeah. What does the duel do? 
hits hard. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> May love find you. I'm still thinking about Selena's tome. I'm sorry. I think that's really good. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, that's all. Uh... Okay, so that's the effect, and that's going to be their icon. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, what does this do? Um. Okay, inflicts the following status on foes in cardinal directions of unit through their next actions. After star turn. Effects trigger ends action immediately for foes who have not yet taken an action in summoner's duels. Instead of inflicting this effect, ends their action immediately. Okay. Interesting. So... Imagine just, <laughs> like, initiating, and then you Gale Forest, you just pop the duo's hindrance, and then you just warp them in, and then... The, like, that was, yeah, that no, I was no thinking moving. of that just right yeah, now. Like, yeah, no one's <laughs> moving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Golvig, like, coming in. And then, like, let's say you have WOM 4, and then he just... Oh my god, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yeah, this is actually oh so god. good for Gale Force. Holy like, crap. As long as you can, like, get rid of the dual hindrance, like... Yeah. Which... Honestly, easier said than done. Corners, yeah, which is normally at the top two corners, so right. that's kind of hard to do. Mm -hmm. But still, well, like yeah, you again, could just do this. It, it, this unit just gives you way more like room for error for Gale Force, which I think is nice. right. And in something like uh, Etherite's defense, this I think would also be pretty good. Actually, mm -hmm. eh. Maybe not as good because generally the first combat is the most important. So like right. combats preceding that, um, like don't impact things as much. But like it could still yeah. be pretty useful if like they survive turn one, but like still need to do things on turn two, right? And so, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. I really like the scene. It. Yeah. I'm just I, thinking I really in something do. like Summer's Duels, if, like, we get a map that allows for it, um, like, you could just pop this and disable a row of um, units. Like, yeah. th that'd be really cool. Now, the one thing is that she is a cat, or it's, it's not Erica, it's Leon. He is a cat. Mm -hmm. So it's not the easiest to fit them in a team, um, unless it's, like, a cav line, right? Oh, but that could also still be really nasty, though. Like, right. putting him in a Congo line with Dagger, and then, like, he just goes in. And, right. Like, the people that are still alive. Oh, but you're not moving anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of messed up. Right. Oh, I don't like that, because I hate Congo lines, so. I mean. Never mind. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> there's, I, there's, like, uh, some. I guess you could. Put this in replace of Sonic. Actually, no, you you can't replace Sonic. No, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Who would either. you replace? Probably Legendary Chrome then in the FX Pasta. Maybe. Or Yunaka, maybe. Maybe. But like Yunaka is so good with the Kanto. That's like how it works. That's also true. Yeah, that's tr that's also true. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, this Kanto is something for the Chinese community to figure out because they are super <laughs> high on the FX Pasta. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, wow. I think uh, Leon will function more in those sort of like rushdown cav teams instead of Sather, which is, I think, yes. a lot better for like more ball type teams. And so, mm. yeah. And like stalling and baiting type. Right, strategy. right, right. Still a very interesting unit. Mm -hmm. Valentine's banners continue to have crazy units. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Damn, Faye, who are you fighting to have that kind of defense just looking like that? <laughs> I know, oh this is my average defense in the Vault of Heavens that I encounter. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. I do want to know like how they got to like this layout. Do they literally have yeah. like no weapons? <laughs> I have got no idea. <laughs> 38 plus 51, Jesus, on a... Kvasir, damn, okay. And yeah, we uh, have... I think the stars are easily uh, Mer and Leon. Yeah, we have um, 
that one dude that was like a grail unit that I forgot the name of. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Uh, does okay. Let me see. Does Reddit know? Um, oh, is it is it the father of uh, Leon or I someone? Think so. Vigard, that's his name. There you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah, Vigard. Interesting. Now that I think about it, I don't think I have any red tomes. <laughs> yeah, that's too tall. I'm not yeah. So yeah, what I mean, you just said, but like, what are your overall thoughts on this banner? Um, I really. Well, one, I really love the demo. I, I'm sorry, I'm like really high on that tome. Uh, two, I did not expect Murr to like have that big of an upgrade with her new C skill. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna be honest, I thought they would make it like tame, especially considering legendary more Murr. I think this year is getting a remix. I think. Yeah, I, I believe so. Yeah. So, um, and in case people don't know, there's usually a trend when a unit is gonna get a remix soon-ish. They mm -hmm. usually get it all. It's happened like three years in a row. Right. Um, I'm just going to be blunt. They should have put Ephraim first and then like, <laughs> showed off Mer because I was so underwhelmed with Ephraim. I was like, right. oh, he's fun. He looks like a fun unit. Don't get me wrong. But like, you know, DTM and I are sweats. So <laughs> we, 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 were, we were like, whatever. Definitely. <laughs> um, and then Leon, first of all, I just love how they're the duo i know it was obvious but like i'm so happy that they're like there oh my gosh mm -hmm. loki should have been edelgard byleth but it's fine no i'm kidding <laughs> anyways um no they look really fun and also i feel i'm uh, kind of scared with what the community will come up with their like you know strategies involving this unit because i'm 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 really scared <laughs> oh man because i'm a like I, I get scared of duo sather's so I'm just like, oh gosh, this feels like way worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, for me, yeah, I, I uh, go yeah. ahead. You can finish. Well, I was just gonna say, I really, I, I overall really like this banner. Like, yeah. Even though I don't play Sacred Stones, I think it's really cute and awesome. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I think I, I am. Too. I really like the unit choices. Like Leon and Erica are really cute. I know, like, there's a joke about how Erica's like an Otome protagonist, basically, with all mm -hmm. her available options, but. It's interesting that IS has a duel like this, but I, I, know, I like it. Um, Murr will be very, very interesting. Um, I do think she'll be a pretty good save in something like Summer's Duels and Ether 8's defense. I don't know if she'll be the best save. Uh, it will really depend on her combat, um, because obviously while having Warp Bubble is really nice, um, that you really want your save to be able to survive. <laughs> so yeah. um, hopefully she survived so <laughs> right so we'll need to wait until she's out in order to see that mm -hmm. um Ephraim not that great honestly I think <laughs> uh, I don't think he's that great either the new tome looks really interesting um I don't know how many units can use this effectively but hey if Leo OG Leo can take out Desert Altina yeah. um then I think anyone could use this tome pretty well exactly. if they're a red tome Exactly. Oh my god, I can give it to my dual Byleth. Never mind, I'm getting one. <laughs> now you can't say she's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. And then on Leon, I do think there'll be a very good unit on Aetherades because on for Gale Force, I think that would be super, super powerful. Um, super powerful. Aetherades defense, not as powerful, but still pretty good. Um, we do have to wait and see how he does in combat because if he is unable to kill things, then that's going to be a very big problem because, again, turn one right. is the most, or the first combat is the most important in Aetherite's defense. And so right. we'll have to wait to see their matchups against the common tanks, which, given that Winter Biolith is one of them, doesn't exactly <laughs> bode well. Yeah. In something like Summoner's Duels, uh, I do see Leon having a lot of value in Cav rushdown teams. Um, Something similar to the FX Pasta or something similar, I think, will work really well. Um, in more ball types teams, I don't think sh he'll really have a place. I think Sather fits that more. And right. Sather is already, like, only tier not that high, honestly, mm -hmm. in terms of, like, the tier list. So, yeah. It, but I do think they'll be good. Again, 
most of the assessments really come down to combat and whether or not they're actually going to be good there. So we'll have to wait and right. see. I agree. How I see Sather, I know I say she's broken on Twitter all the time, but like for me, how I see Sather is she's as good as the person that's using her. Right. That's how I see her. I mean, obviously that goes for a lot, but I feel like that fits her especially well. Mm hmm. But, um, yeah. And something, <laughs> I, I forgot to mention this, but something that is important to know is that in Summer Duels, you can only use one duo. So yeah. if you use the duel, say Pop Pathfinder, you can't use that duo again. You can't use like mm -hmm. Leon's duo again. So like that is something to yeah. consider too, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, overall, very interesting banner. Um, thank you so much, Satoshi, for joining me. Always a blast having you on. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Oh, again, always have so much fun with you and just talking about Faye. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And yeah, if you all enjoyed us reacting, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, not only to my channel, but to Satoshi's channel as well. The link will be in the description down below. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this banner and whether or not you're going to be summoning. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.